Hi everyone and welcome to this quick look at Tasker and Imperi Home integration. As your system expands and you add more controllers to your network, you may find you want to customise the controllers in different rooms. And whilst maintaining the same look and feel of those controllers, it can be useful to bring certain controls and functionality to the front screen so that you can control things that are more suitable for the room they're in. So for instance, in a bedroom you may want to control window covers and lights, whereas in a lounge your focus may be more on audio visual equipment. And this can be done by using Task and Imperi Home and using shortcuts. So as you can see here, I've set up a row of shortcuts across the bottom of the screen and this is set up so they're available on all screens at the same time. So this is done really simply using Task as the front layer to let me customize the icons and build in additional functionality. But that links straight into Imperi Home and Imperi Home launches a shortcut. So the most basic option is a simple scene launch. And as we can see here, we've got a switch called landing light on and landing light off. If I press that, it simply launches a scene straight through Imperi Home using the shortcut function and turns the light on. If I select light off, it does the same thing. Now using Tasket, it is possible to set up an icon which will toggle. So the same icon could turn the light on and the light off. And I'll do a separate video to show you how to do that. But what I wanted to look at is some extra layers you can add using Tasker, which you might find useful. So having been able to control a scene, what I can also do is get Tasker to do other things on the push of the button. So in this instance, I've got a scene set up which turns a light on to a particular level. But what I might want to do is make the light brighter or dimmer using a manual control. So Tasker is set up to launch the scene and then launch the Imperi Home application for me, taking me straight into the screen that uses the correct controls. So let's take a look. So there we can see that the light has been turned on and you can see it's been set to the brightness and Imperi Home has been launched as well. So therefore I've got immediate control of the light should I require it. And this is a really nice function because it takes you straight into controls and applications that you need with only having to press one button. Traditionally, you would have to go into the screen yourself, you would have to launch the app, and there's just a few more presses, it's not, it's not quite as simple and as straightforward. And with that control and flexibility built in, I could also ask Tasker to do some other tasks once the button is pressed. So for instance, it could actually turn these lights off after five minutes, or I could set it to dim the lights again and then turn them off, which is useful at a bedtime scene where you may want the lights on for a period and then slowly dim themselves. So it just builds in a lot more functionality than is available directly than using the Imperi Home shortcuts. So let's take a look at how that's done. It's very, very simple. So here we're using Nova Launcher again, a really nice launcher. And you'll notice on this screen there is no um, application bar, but I've got it set so that a real quick swipe up launches the application bar on the right hand side of the screen. So let's take a look in Tasker. The particular scene we just launched is called um, Low Light. And if I take a look, you can see there are two particular tasks. So the first one is that it launches the scene using Imperi Home. And you can see there, going into this basically gives you a list of things to launch. And these are all the scenes which are set up, and you simply select the one you need from the list. Second to that, I've asked Imperi Home, uh, sorry, I've asked Tasker to launch the application Imperi Home. And so therefore, when I press the button, it just goes through these in the order. If I wanted to add a pause or a delay in there, it's very, very simple to do. It can be done. Equally, I could put more controls in here to turn the light back off or actually to launch more different scenes and turn more lights on, close blinds, whatever you would want to do. So it just adds a really nice layer and Imperi Home having the Tasker integration just makes it really, really flexible and gives you many benefits that you can't get just using Imperi Home itself. So you can see there I've also set an item turned light off. So let's run these two together. Okay, so the light comes on, it gets set to the standard level and I can turn the light off. And just to check that, if I go into Imperi Home, you can see the light is turned off. So that's really, really basic Tasker integration. It means that a single button press can do many, many functions and control lots of different things in your home network. And also using Tasker lets me add custom items to the bottom of the screen, which again can be very useful. Using it on a tablet like this means that it's always available 
means you don't have to go hunting for your phone, you don't have to plug things in, you don't have to go looking for switches. It's all there on the screen. And if you want to control it in the more traditional way, you can of course just drive straight into the application and use the controls with Imperi Home. So that's it, it was a very quick look. If you've got any questions or comments, please post them and I'll reply.